Oh, for some peace and quiet of a civilised meeting, maybe with Mayor of Daniloquin, the Honourable Lindsay Renwick, better known as Silver. Silver, Hi. how are you doing? I'm good, Ange. How are you? I'm good. And you're wandering around Denny finding all these little secret hidey hoes, eh? That's because I'm connected. Beautiful. To you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this beautiful town of yours. Ah, uh, it's lovely, and I, I just think we're so, I'm so proud of the fact that you guys are here filming to show the rest of Australia just how beautiful Daneliquin is. You know, it's, uh, I've seen you before filming on the river and our, our waterways, our parks, and uh, we're very, very proud. It's a very, very go-ahead town. You know, it's one of those towns that uh, doesn't sleep. We have great fishing. We native fish are plentiful in Daneliquin and on the mighty Edwards River. And what are you likely to catch here? All native fish, um, but Murray Cod's a prime fish that everyone, all the, all the professional fishermen want the Murray Cod. Mm -hmm. The elusive Murray Cod, but there are plenty in Denny. <laughs> and you just want the biggest one, don't you? Well, yeah, it's amazing, and the whole world's changed. Where the old days where they'd, they'd actually catch those beautiful monsters and they'd take them away and eat them, nowadays they take their photo and put them back in the river. Kiss them goodbye. It is, and it's beautiful. And I think that's great the way that the sporting people have actually got this tag and release system. And I think it's it's that's why we're so healthy with the river. The fish are breeding so beautifully. So we're going to the RSL for a good feed. We're going to the Big Four. Is there anything else you should suggest well, we should the, do? Well, the Big Four is such a success story in itself. You mm -hmm. know, like it's only been... It's been an old caravan park there since I was a little kid. And uh, to think that the, the new people, the Big Four people, have come in and turned it into a spectacle that it is and it's it's, it's well it's Australia wide now and again and uh, wins, wins all the awards yep. every time Second I sort of pick up the yeah no they've done a wonderful mm -hmm. job and and actually you know just to be able to sit out there on the side of the river in those magnificent caravans is perfect I just had to check out the big four holiday park Linda this park is magnificent so how did it all start for you uh, nearly 14 years ago, coming up in November 14 years ago. I've skied here since I was 18 years old, so it's a place that I've grown up in. And then the opportunity came up to buy it, and yeah, here we are, 14 years later, winning awards, and yeah, it's just, we just love it, it's a piece of paradise. The cabin I'm in is just amazing, looking over the river. What other accommodation options do you have? Currently we've got 23 cabins on site and we've got over 50 powered sites and that's always changing. We're sort of always developing and cultivating new grass areas to expand. Um, the boys are busy at the moment building another four family villas which we'll have up and ready hopefully by the Ute Muster weekend um, and then heading into our busy season. What do you love about Daniloquin itself? It's just beautiful. It's so peaceful, um, you know, sitting up on the balcony or sunbaking down on the on the riverbank during the day. And during summer, you, there's not a time that there's probably not a boat on the river and someone skiing or doing some kind of water sport. While Angie was talking lady stuff, I introduced myself to Linda's hubby, Frank. Wait, how far can you explore up and down the river from the park in the boat? Oh, we go, we're about the 23k mark to the weir from here. We ski down about 4k's and then we've got about another Oh, 15 odd k's of sort of passive water then you can ski again so and then we go upstream the same way so about 40 k's upstream you can go so 40 k yeah probably even further but i've never ventured that far fish in the river yeah plenty of fish uh you get the occasional carp but we're getting a lot more cod these days so it's it's good so if someone came out here with a rod what's the chances of going home with a fish Pretty good, pretty good. The kids seem to have a good time. It's trying to get a, a legal size one's probably the hardest part, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of fish they pull out of the river. And you need a license to fish in? You do in New South Wales, but uh, on the pontoon boat, we supply the license. So you, uh, you pretty much can just jump on here and away you go. I am on the Edward River, which the Murray flows into, which just happens to be on the banks of the Big Four Daniloquin. Now, bringing your kayak to this park and having a leisurely kayak up and down the river is, in my opinion, a must. Angie and Macca did say they were going to join me. Ah, they'll be here somewhere. Yeah, I thought you guys were going to get out in the water with me. Well, we are out on the water with you, mate. Well, I thought it was a great idea you had. Yeah. I just thought this was even greater. We're getting on the river in a different fashion. Yeah, we are. We're still out here, mate. We're together.